Hi, my name is John Voles. I'm a physical therapist and exercise specialist with Healthy Habits Keto Wellness in Algonquin, Illinois. I'll be bringing you exercise tips once a week here on SeniorSpotChicago.com. Okay, today we're going to talk a little bit about type 2 diabetes. Uh, for the older population, type 2 diabetes is, is really a big health concern. It's kind of a growing thing in the country. And uh, one of the things that we really stress is to get some exercise. If you do have type 2 diabetes or just have some blood sugar control problems that may be leading to diabetes. So if somebody comes in to work with me who has, uh, who has this chronic health condition, I like to have them do both cardiovascular exercise and strengthening exercises, along with some balance activities if they're starting to lose some feeling in their legs due to neuropathy. Well, today we're just going to cover some aerobic exercise or cardiovascular exercise and also some resistance and strength training exercises, both of which used in combination are really good for blood sugar control. Uh, many of the people who come in here and work with me will come in with somewhat high blood sugar and after they do maybe a half an hour of exercise, we check their blood sugar again and it's dramatically lower. So it's, it's actually a very effective thing to do along with the medications that you take. So I have Norma here just simply walking on a treadmill and she's walking at a pretty comfortable pace. You don't have to run, you don't have to do anything that's really more than a moderate type of an exercise and what she's doing now would be considered a very moderate type of exercise. Uh, what I want to have her do eventually in time is raise the front of the treadmill and incline a little bit more as she gets more accustomed to, to that kind of a workload. Other things that you can do on your own are simply walking outside if the weather's nice. You can pedal a bike if you have other pieces of equipment at home, uh, like seated cross trainers, maybe a new step if you have access to something like that. It's a very safe exercise. Anything that kind of gets your heart rate up. Uh, water exercise is good. But really the best exercises that you can do for blood sugar control and actually calorie expenditure is something where you're bearing your own weight. I have Norma here on the treadmill because she's bearing her own weight, she's walking at a fairly moderate pace, she's getting her heart rate up, she's using up some calories, and if she happened to have a high blood sugar, that's probably coming down gradually as she's walking. So now in just a minute we're going to go over some strengthening exercises that you can do along with the cardiovascular exercises. Okay, the second type of exercise that's really important for somebody with blood sugar control problems, especially people diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, are strengthening exercises, especially exercises where you're using larger muscle groups. And I've picked an exercise here that Norma's going to demonstrate in just a second. That's a really good exercise you can do at home. If you have some hand weights, that's good. Using soup cans for a little extra weight in your hands is, is a very good idea. But it's simply a squatting exercise and then using your arms and shoulders to raise your arms and the weights above your head. Doing this exercise, go ahead and start. Doing this exercise, you're using a lot of large muscle groups and the larger muscle groups that you can use throughout the exercise is going to use up more calories, like I've mentioned before, but more importantly, with type 2 di diabetes, it's going to lower your blood sugar. So I have Norma doing this type of an exercise, which is using almost all of the larger muscle groups in her body, and she won't be able to do this for very long because she's going to get fairly tired fast. That's what happens when you use large muscle groups during any particular exercise. So this is something that you want to start with slowly, maybe do a couple, and then work your way up to 10, and then maybe work your way up to 20 or more, depending on how you feel. Other examples of things that you can do at home, walking up and down steps is, is, is a good thing. Other types of home exercises that you can do if you have a videotape that has uh, certain exercises that you can do for 15 minutes or 20 minutes is very good. If you like going to health club facilities or gyms or fitness centers, they have plenty of equipment and they have trainers that can help you out and put you on a program that's going to uh, help lower your blood sugar. So together with the treadmill exercise or biking, the aerobic type exercise and the strengthening exercise, if you can do that three, four or five times a day, it really makes a big difference in, uh, in your blood sugar and will probably make your doctor very happy. So um, tune in next week, come on back next week to uh, SeniorSpotChicago.com and we're going to go over some more exercise routines.